record. All right, so first thing, um, we're gonna let one of our numbers equal X and our other number equal Y all the way through this, okay? Y'all with me? Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Um, so the first one, it says the sum of two numbers is 100. If our numbers are X and Y, how do you write that? X plus y equals 100. Yes, X plus Y equals 100. Okay, what if it says the difference of two numbers is 50? Minus. minus, difference means subtraction, right? So this is X minus Y equals 50. Okay, how do you write one number is twice the other? What's is? What's is in math? Equals, right? So we're always going to start with the X just to keep consistent. So the way you said it could be right, but because we're just going to go in the order, we're going to say one number is X is twice the other. So we're going to call this X equals 2Y. And I would say as much as you can, just go in the order of the alphabet, X first and then Y. Okay. That way we aren't getting different answers for different setups. Um, okay. Number four, a number is 20 more than three times the other. X equals 20 plus 3y. Yes, okay, so here's the deal. X equals 20 plus 3y is great, that's fine. I'm not gonna write it that way, and here's why. Whenever you see more than or less than, I always switch places, because less than, they have to switch places. More than, they don't have to, you can do it either way but I just like to get in the habit so that I don't ever forget to switch them on the less than. okay? So more than and less than, I'm gonna switch them. So it's gonna be three times Y plus 20, okay? If you write 20 plus three Y, that's fine. Number five, it's not fine. How do you have to write number five? X equals 60. Oh wait, no, four Y minus 60. Yes, X equals 4y minus 60, okay? So less than is subtraction, but swap these two parts, okay? Less than. Um, how would you write an equation for two angles are complementary? What does complementary mean? To 90. to 90, right? So how do you write that as an equation? X plus y equals 90. Plus y equals 90. Yes. Okay, so how do you write two angles are supplementary? X plus y equals 180. Yes, equals 180. Okay. Um, number eight, it says the cost Y for an electrician who charges $40 for the first hour and 30 per hour after the first hour. How would you write that? We're going to try to find the cost. So Y equals... 40 plus 30x, okay? You could write it 30x plus 40. It would be the same thing, right? Addition is commutative. So you may flip those and that's okay. Um, okay, number nine. There's several problems like this and I feel like these get confused a lot. Here's the thing. We want dollars to stay with dollars and we want number of bills to stay with number of bills, okay? Um, so this says the amount of money I have in fives, which is our X, and tens, which is our Y, is $90. How do you write that? X equals 18. Y equals 9. No. 5X plus 10Y equals 90. That's the one. 5X, right? It's $5 per $5 bill plus $10 per $10 bill will equal $90. Okay, so all the dollars are staying together. The second part of it says the total number of fives and tens is 16. How do you write that? Brett, say it. Oh, is it X plus Y equals 16? Yes, yeah, so X plus Y equals 16. Okay, so notice there's no dollars with those ones because we're talking about how many bills there are. X, $5 bills, and Y, $10 bills is 16 total bills, okay? Okay, 
Um, so that's just the like, get you back in that mode. Now that we're back in that mode, we're gonna write systems and solve those systems of equations, okay? So the first part is the new part, right? How do you write the system? The solving of the system should feel exactly like what we've done in the last two days of class, okay? Um, so number 10, the sum of two numbers is 63. How do you write that? X plus Y equals 63, yes. Their difference is 19. How do you write that? X minus Y equals 19. Okay, so that's the tricky part. Set up the system. Now you should know this very well because you've done this in Algebra 1. Now we've done it in Algebra 2. Um, how would you prefer to solve this? There's not a right or wrong answer here. You can do substitution or you can do elimination. I would do elimination. If you like substitution better, substitute by all means, okay? Um, but if we're gonna do elimination, we already have opposite coefficients, so we're just gonna add these together. Um, just be careful with this. A lot of times when people see x and x, they call it x, and I don't know why people do that, because I know you know that x plus x is not x, but it happens all the time, okay? Um, x plus x, gotta remember, there's a one out in front of there. That's two x, this is zero. And then 63 plus 19 is 82. So divide by two. So X is 41. Okay. And now you can just drop that X into either one of your equations. I would probably drop it into the top one. So 41 plus Y equals 63. So take away the 41. So Y is 22. Questions on that? Okay, setup number 11. Two angles are complementary. Oh, Naomi. Do we have to make it into an ordered No, that's a great question. On these word problems, ordered pairs don't really make sense anymore, right? So don't worry about making an ordered pair. Um, if there's something where it makes sense to explain what's going on, which I'll show you toward the end, explain it. If it's a word problem that needs an explanation, use detail, explain it, okay? Um, Okay, so what's one equation for number 11? X plus y equals 90. Yes, x plus y equals 90. Two angles are complementary, right? x plus 9 equals 90. What's the other one? Uh, x, minus y equals x minus y is 54. They're difference, right? Difference is subtraction. Find the measures of the angles. So you would solve this by adding them together. Very similar to the last one, 2x equals 144, divide by 2. You want to do this? Um, you're welcome to. Come on up. Um, so x is 72. Notice we're talking angles, so 72 what? 72 degrees, right? Label it degrees. Um, the measure of the other angle then is what? 18. Um, take away the 72. So y is 18 degrees. Okay. Um, you try 12. A number is three times as large as a second number. Their sum is 96. Find the numbers. Yes. Yep. You're always going to get a system, so at least two, sometimes three, but we won't do three on this lesson yet. We'll get to three later. Okay, so even if you're not done solving it, what are your two equations? How do you write this as a number sentence? X equals 3Y, right? A number is 3 times the second number, right? If you just write it as a sentence, word for word, symbol for symbol, you got it, okay? Um, 
The second one, their sum is 96? I have plus y is Yes. Okay, so substitution or elimination? Substitution. Substitution's easier. You can do elimination, right? You just have to rearrange, and then you can do it. Um, but I'm going to do substitution. So I'm going to take this 3y and drop it in for x. So 3y plus y equals 96, which means 4y is 96 divided by 4. So y is, what is that? 24. Okay, then once you know that y is 24, I would take that 24 and drop it in here. 3 times 24 is going to make x 72. You good there? That makes sense. Good. We like it when they make sense. Um, 13, you set that one up. The sum of two numbers is 30. Three times the first number plus two times the second number is 67. What do you write for the first sentence? X plus y equals 30. Yes, x plus y, the sum, equals 30. And what did you get for the second sentence? 3x plus 2y equals 67. Okay, now problems like this, I feel like there is an equally good argument for substitution and elimination. It literally has to be your decision. What do you like better? Do it that way. Okay, um, because you can very easily eliminate and you can very easily substitute. Just out of curiosity, who would do substitution right now on this one? Okay, who would do elimination? You guys are pretty split. Okay, um, there's another problem that also could be one or the other. So I will do one of each but you do whichever one makes more sense to you, okay? Um, we'll do elimination on this one and then we'll do substitution on the other one. Um, okay, so if we're going to do elimination right now, what would you do? Okay, so you can multiply everything by negative three. Um, I actually wouldn't. But you can. It's not wrong. You just get bigger numbers. I always try to multiply by the smallest number I can oh, so that too. we're working with smaller numbers. Um, so I would multiply by negative 2. But that's up to you also. You can totally do negative 3 and you will get the right answer. So if I multiply by negative 2, I'm going to write it down here. So this will be a negative 2x. You okay? Um, <laughs> minus 2y equals a negative 60, okay? So I'm just working with these two right now, okay? Um, so take those, add them together, and I get x plus zero equals seven, okay? So that's our x value, and then I would take that seven and drop it into that original one. Okay. Seven plus y should equal 30, so take away the seven, and y is 23, okay? Questions on that? Okay, um, 14. Um, I'm gonna let you try the entirety by yourself. So solve it, everything, and see if you can come up with the right answer because it's kind of a trick question a little bit. Um, so I just am curious if you can reason through that and think about what makes sense. <laughs> nope. You should always get the same answer. Yep. It's, even if you multiply by a different setup, you'll still get the same thing. Okay. So try 14, work it all the way out, and then we'll come back and chat about it. Okay, even if you're not done solving it, let's just see how our setup is going. So 
A plumber charges $45 for the first hour and $23 for each additional hour. How did you write that as an equation? Um, no. So it's, but the first hour is just a one-time thing. So you don't need to attach a variable to it. Um, did anyone get, is that a hand up, Miles? Yeah. Uh, 45 plus 23x equals to 35 plus 28x. Right. So you're, that's how you would set it up to solve it, right? Your initial equations are the cost equals 45 plus 23x, right? The other guy's cost is 35 plus 28x, okay? So that's your system, and I want to see that. I want to see your system first, okay? Then you can solve it. So when you solve this, um, I would do substitution. You're welcome to do elimination, but you have to rearrange a lot if you do elimination. I would just substitute. I know y equals this, so I'm going to place it there. So it's going to be 45 plus 23x equals 35 plus 28x, okay? Um, take away the 23x, and you get 5x. Take away the 35, and you get 10. So you get 5x equals 10. Divide by 5, so x is 2. The question was, for how many hours will the cost be the same? It's not 2 hours. What? No, there's an exact number where they're the same. Read the question. For the first hour, they charge 45 or 35, right? For each additional hour after that, they charge, so it's three, right? It's, these are additional hours, right? So the first hour, they both charge something, and then for two additional hours, they'd be even. So it would be three hours. <clears throat> Here, we'll say at three hours, the cost is the same. Yeah? And add the third hour on. Yeah. Can't wait until I'm done with this. Can you wait? We're almost there. We have one more. Um, and then you can go. Okay, last one. When Tyler cashed his birthday checks for $180, the bank teller gave him 12 bills, each one worth $5 or $20. How much of each bill... How many of each bill did he receive? This one's a little bit tricky. This one's not so cut and dried like here's one equation and here's the other equation, right? You have a bunch of information. Remember what I said earlier, put all the money stuff together and put the amounts of things together, the number of bills together. See if you can set up that system. What would it look like? In other words, you're going to put these three things, right, all the dollar signs in one equation. What's that equation going to look like? Um, 5x plus 20. 5x was 20y, right, different number, bill number, equals 180. Yeah. What's the other equation? Yes, X and Y put together have to equal 12. X bills plus Y bills is 12 total bills, okay? Um, okay, so now this is the one. I told you there's another one where you could choose substitution or elimination very easily. What did I do on the first one? Elimination, I think. Okay, so we'll do substitution here. If you want elimination, do elimination, okay? That's totally fine. Um, substitution on this one, I would probably solve for X, so I would take away Y. So x equals negative y plus 12, or you can write that as 12 minus y is the same thing. Um, so I would take that, and I would drop that x in place of the x in my first equation. So it's going to be 5 times negative y plus 12 plus 20y equals 180. Okay, distribute that 5. Negative 5y plus 60 plus 20y 
equals 180. So combine like terms, 15y plus 60 equals 180. Take away your 60. So 15y equals 120. And then divide by 15. So y is 8. What is x? 4. Four. If you plug that in, I would plug it in here or here. Um, so x plus 8 equals 12 means x is 4. But here's one of those where I want specifics. I don't want that to be your answer because that doesn't tell me anything. What does that mean? There's four $5 bills. Right, and there's eight, that's a terribly ugly eight, sorry. Um, eight $20 bills, okay? So make sure on a quiz or a test that you specify, give me details if there are details to be given. Any questions on that? Okay, that's it. So tomorrow we'll take...